The joke is that I'm the unofficial official photographer. Behind this wall of moments is a curious man often found behind a camera. Hey, the tall guy's back. Or, you're back. You know, it's nice to see you. Or, who are you? Mike Youngers, the unofficial photographer yet constant memory maker at White Bear Lake public safety events, began his love of photography and public service decades ago, riding along with the St. Paul Fire Department in high school. The video camera that I used was a black and white reel-to-reel -reel mobile recorder, which was held together by duct tape. He's worked at 3M for 25 years, running live broadcasts, among other production duties. And along the way, he discovered what people really want are pictures. But I know since there were fluorescent lights, I just go down here to fluorescent. It gives me a color balance. His wife, I... Barb, is often by his side. They've been together for nearly 20 years. Yeah, this is us. It was taken in um, South Dakota on a trip that we had in one of those old-time photography places. <laughs> and it was just a lot of fun to do. They have a mutual passion for photography, Barb serving as his second set of eyes. That one's okay, the look on her face, she looks a little... And for the last 10 years, they've been capturing stories of cancer survivors at the annual Relay for Life. With the welcome survivors in the background. So that one would be a really good one. Only this year, the event will take on a new meaning as Mike, now a cancer survivor himself, will walk the survivor's lap hand in hand with Barb. Now I'm a survivor and my wife's a caregiver and it, it changed us both. Mike's family has a history of prostate cancer. His dad died in 2016 and when Mike began feeling unwell last summer, he started a series of tests that ultimately confirmed their worst fears. My, my first reaction was I was at work and I let out a big oh no and I have a support person that's on this other side of the wall. She said, what's wrong? And I said, I think I have cancer. He had surgery the day after Christmas, all part of his plan to be ready for photography season this spring. And after months of recovery, he's feeling good. This is the hope stone. And what they say you should do is whenever you're feeling down. Is and his run. commitment to his craft is only paralleled by his commitment to his wife and hers to him. We're in this together. It's not, not Mike fighting cancer, we're fighting cancer. The power of pictures has changed Mike's life, helping him overcome a shyness that once held him back. I just start to remember everything that happened at that, at that moment. And for one night this summer, he set aside his camera at Relay for Life and allowed someone else to capture his moment, making a lasting memory all his own. But now I know what they're going through. I understand the struggle, because I struggled, and I understand it. But, but I made it.